Hey guys, my name is Courtney Arango and today you're joining me in my kitchen. Um, I wanted to come in here and give you guys something that I'm pretty excited about because I have had so many people reaching out to me about um, healthy eating with the new year coming around. So tonight I'm super, super excited because I'm going to be giving you guys uh, the exact step-by-step -step formula I am using to make our dinner tonight because Tuesdays are date night for my husband and I. So uh, one of the biggest misconceptions that I think people have when they are starting a new healthy lifestyle is this limiting mindset that just because they're attempting to eat healthily means they're gonna have to eat foods they don't enjoy. That is so not the truth. And I promise you that when you eat healthy more often, your body actually starts to adapt and you start to crave those healthy foods. So they become more and more tasty to you the more you put them into your system. But tonight, I am specifically coming here with one goal, which is to give you guys a meal that you can eat, get excited about eating because it is tasty. It's one of those special meals that you can use to impress if you're going to host like a dinner party or friends or if you want to just cook something special for your spouse or significant other, whatever. Um, it is a simple meal, but something that you can use to impress and to also stay on track with your goals. So if this interests you, come along with me. I'm going to show you how to go about making this meal, and hopefully you can use it to your advantage. Alrighty, so today we're gonna make apple bacon stuffed pork chops, and right here off to my left, um, I have everything laid out on the table with the exception of what seasonings I'm gonna use uh, that we're gonna need to make this meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera around so you guys can take a look. The first thing you're going to need is a pack of thick cut pork chops. When buying meat, I recommend going organic or natural. Next, you're going to need two to three Fuji apples. In this video, I end up cutting two. Alrighty, next up, you're gonna wanna get some uncured bacon. I cannot stress the importance of turning your packages around and reading the labels and making sure they're not full of chemicals that you can't pronounce. I think the Applegate brand is a great way to go. You also need long, colorful carrots. I like to buy my package of carrots at Trader Joe's. And last but not least, you want a package of fresh Brussels sprouts. All right, so now you have everything you need in order to make this dinner. So we're gonna get started working on our sides. Go ahead and rinse off your carrots, and we are going to chop them up. You can chop them horizontally, or you can chop them vertically, which is how I like to roast them. All right, so once you've got your carrots all chopped up, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do the same with the Brussels sprouts. You're gonna start with taking the hard edge off of each Brussels sprout and then cutting them right down the center in half. And you can place those in a bowl off to the side. All right, y'all, so once you've got your veggies cut, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and pour them into a pan and make sure your oven is preheating. I'm preheating the oven to about 350 degrees. Uh, totally your prerogative. I uh, am putting it at that heat because I don't want the meal to cook too quickly. And also with pork chops, when you cook them at a higher temperature, they dry out really fast. So 350, that's what I'm using. You're more than welcome to use the same. Once you've cut up all your vegetables, you're gonna go ahead and rinse off your cutting board so we can get started on cutting our apples. Now you're gonna take two Fuji apples and you're going to cut them around the core. So you're gonna take that center core out, put it off to the side, and start slicing it into manageable pieces. Once you've done that, you're going to take the skin off of each piece of the apple and set those aside to cut into smaller pieces. Now head over to your vegetables, pour some extra virgin olive oil over them, and when you get a second, go ahead and put that pan into the oven. While your vegetables start to roast, you're gonna go ahead and work on cutting up the bacon. So I recommend taking about four slices of bacon, 
and we are going to chop those into smaller pieces. I like to use my cutlery scissors because it cuts through the bacon pretty easily as opposed to using a regular cutting knife. Once you've done this, you're gonna place your apples and bacon into a pan to cook over the stovetop. Alrighty, we're on to the last ingredient. So you are going to make sure that you have a clean cutting board and we're gonna start working with those pork chops. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the fatty pieces off of the pork chop. So you can see me cutting here, all of those white fatty pieces away. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a clean cut pork chop here. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and create a little pocket by cutting right down the center so that you have like a hole in, that, in the center of that pork chop. Now we're gonna put those pork chops into a pan so we can season them, and we're gonna turn on the stove to start cooking our bacon and apples. Alrighty, first thing I use to season my pork chops is a little bit of garlic salt. I'm gonna pour a bit of garlic salt on each side. The next thing I'm gonna use is some onion powder. Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and turn the pork chops over on each side so that we can make sure we're sprinkling it evenly. The last thing I'm gonna use is a little bit of black pepper and I'm only gonna use that on one side. Once I've seasoned my pork chops, I'm gonna go back to that stove top that's cooking those bacon bits and the apples and I'm gonna make sure that I'm moving those pieces around so that they're getting an even golden color. Once those have cooked for about five to seven minutes, I'm gonna start packing them into those little pockets of the pork chops. I'm not gonna worry about cooking them too much because once we stick these in the oven, the bacon bits and the apples are gonna to continue to cook and get some flavoring into those pork chops. Once you've stuffed the pork chops completely, you're gonna go ahead and open up that oven, stick the pan of pork chops in, and we're gonna let this cook for about 25 minutes. Uh, again, you wanna check that temperature, make sure it's not too hot that it's gonna dry out the pork chop completely. While we're in here, we're going to mix up those vegetables, make sure that they are uh, switching sides, getting an even roast, and we're gonna put those back in probably for about five to 10 more minutes. It's okay that they get a bit toasty. Alrighty, so once we have finished cooking those vegetables, you're gonna take them out and start plating them. Now, after those pork chops have cooked for about 25 minutes, you're gonna take those out, plate those as well, and you should have an awesome apple bacon stuffed pork chop with a side of Brussels sprouts and carrots to serve.